Hi there, I'm Daphne Walbridge from the First Year Principal. Welcome to this, this week's coaching. Uh, so this week, we're going to be focusing on how to lead during a time of crisis. So if you're new to my community, I help first year and aspiring principals thrive as conscious educational leaders. And I thought I would start off this week's coaching with a very hot topic for school leaders, um, how to learn when there's a crisis uh, within your school, your community, or even globally as we're living right now. So what I've learned through experience, and I actually I learned this uh, this year as my first year as a superintendent, is the importance of doubling down on your communication. That is the biggest lesson I've learned when managing a team, whether it be a school or in my case, principals. Um, the best way to manage and lead during a time of crisis is to increase, to overdose um, your level of, with your, your communication. So basically more emails, more face-to-face uh, -face or virtual uh, video uh, meetings. Um, it's really, really important to, to do this. And I'll explain why, especially during a time of crisis, people are often in their right brain. So they're panicking, they're anxious, they're fueled with emotions and their logical brain, their left brain is taking a little bit of a, um, a slower pace and, and it's taking more time to realize that they need to get, you know, get into action. And sometimes people freeze and don't always grasp all of the, the content, the messages that are being sent out. And remember, as a principal, you're, you're also the chief reminding officer of key important information, okay? So when you're in a time of crisis as a leader, when you increase your communication, you're helping um, alleviate stress, anxiety, and fear your staff may be feeling. So I'm gonna give you a concrete example of what this looks like, and it has worked brilliantly. So as we started off this year, um, we were obviously in, in the pandemic and uh, the school leaders, the principals were, were heading into their schools with all these new rules and regulations related to the pandemic, to COVID. And, um, you know, parents were worried, they were being bombarded by questions. And every day we seem to be getting some new information from our ministry as to how to implement these changes within the school system and within our board. So we decided to, and actually one of my principals um, recommended this, to do daily check-ins. So this is what I mean by increasing the level of communication. Every day at the end of the day, I would have all my principals meet virtually and we would go over the wins of the day, the struggles. I would impart some in, uh, important information uh, onto them um, and, and we would have a discussion. They would last maybe 30 minutes, an hour. We would do this every day for the first couple of weeks. And then when I saw that things were starting to gel and, and go smoothly, we went down to two or three days and eventually one day a week. And to this day, we still meet once a week. Now, what does this look like in your school? Well, as a principal, um, you can send an invite to your teachers because I know with unions, it's sometimes not uh, as easy to, um, you know, to impose a meeting uh, at the end of the day, but you can couch it, um, you know, under the umbrella of being there to, to be of service and to clarify any questions or concerns. So you can invite your staff at the end of the day for a quick uh, 15 to 30 minute check-in and, you know, where it's a question and answer period. And this could help your staff um, get some, some relief and uh, get some questions answered. Now, the higher the tension, the more often you need to communicate. So for example, at the beginning of the year, I, I was meeting with them every day for the first two weeks. Then as the routine started to set in, I, you know, I, I tapered the meetings. You can do the same thing. So another example is when we came back after the Christmas break, the, the, the winter break, we were back 
um, you know, we were at home again, so there was a new shift within the system. Again, anxiety went up, questions, you know, we had more questions. So again, I increased the level of communication where we met every day at the end of the day to do our daily check-ins. So this offered the principals and for you, for your staff, your teachers, it'll offer them a safety net. They're gonna feel like somebody has their back. They're gonna feel as though they're not free falling and, and they don't have any point of reference to go and seek help. So that's why it's really, really important. Okay, I wanted to share this, um, this simple strategy. I discovered it this year. It's incredible. It also makes sure that you, you're, you're present for them and you know what's going on. You can see their facial expressions. You can see, you can hear in their voices what their concerns are and you're keeping it authentic and you're being present and conscious for them. So that's what I have to share with you today. I hope this has been of service. I'd love to um, know if you've done this within your school and if so, um, how any, any remarks you have regarding this practice or if you feel like starting it in your own school as well. So if you've enjoyed this coaching and uh, you would like to get more coaching, I am offering a new membership called the FYP Tribe. You can find the link below or uh, in my bio link, if you're watching on IGTV, uh, I'd love for you to come and join us in the tribe. There's more information if you click on the link. Bye for now and have a great day. Bye-bye.